guys. What the hell is she doing here? I'd like you to meet my fiance, Henry. I'm kind of, I think, the only real performer, the only actor in our family, which, uh, thank God, because uh, I, I already make my family's life such a living hell by like constantly wanting to show them things, especially growing up, that I think I probably just like sucked it out of everybody else in the family. Um, the rest of my siblings are, are much, much lower key, I think, than I am. Um, but I've always performed and I've always, you know, would would write and direct things and put all the kids from the neighborhood in it. And so I think it was always, this directing a film was inevitable. Um, when I went to college, I went to study film production, not for acting originally. So that was kind of always at the forefront. And then by happenstance and luck, I ended up working as an actor and, and, and it was amazing to have that experience. Um, but I think there was always this gnawing uh, this sort of hunger to direct, and so to finally get the opportunity to do it, it was just a dream come true for me. This isn't charming. Come on, it's a little charming. Daniel Radcliffe's a good buddy of mine, and Daniel's a great example of somebody who I think, I mean, he doesn't have to do anything to just continue working in huge studio projects for the, till the end of time. And I just love that when he finally got an opportunity to work on something else, he went and did Equus, of all things. Like, talk about taking a risk. And then he decided he wanted to do a Broadway musical, and he just does all these indies now, and I just, I just love that about him. I just think it's so brave and important, and, and it just goes to show you that he really, he's doing it because he loves the work, not because he loves the spotlight or the, the free champagne or whatever the hell it is that so many other people go into it for, you know?